bang folks I just got home we got ourselves a package let's open this up I've been waiting for this for a long time you guys really enjoyed the creative package opening so let's think of something new bang folks what is popping how are you guys doing I literally just got home from school saw this package on the porch I was like yes if you guys uh, uh you guys haven't seen this yet I failed twice I'll just play those clips really quick. Boys, we have a false alarm. Do you guys see what this is? I can't tell if you can see what this is. Well, this is my SAT study guide. Oh gosh, I thought it was my, uh, I thought it was my Cabela's order. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go. Holy. Yeah, still recovering from the SAT book one, but it's okay, because the package is here now. Let's figure out a way to open it up. This should be hooks, this is from Cabela's. Let's get it. Alrighty, folks, you guys really enjoyed the uh, fancy package opening last time. So we're on sheath in this baby. And we're doing it again. Remember, safety glasses will protect you. Let's get it. <laughs> we did it! Yes! Woo. Let's just stick that in there. Let's get to this unboxing. Alrighty folks, something actually already fell out. And that was these. These are the Berkley Fusion hooks. These are just 4 aught EWG hooks. Um, I like to use these for Texas rigging. Four rod is just kind of a good size for me because it can it can cover craws. If you're looking to go big for a Sanko, it can cover a five inch Sanko. But that's why I prefer to use four rod. It will make your hookup ratio just a tad bit better. When it comes to hooks, you really just want something in a hook shape with a barb that'll catch a fish. Let's take a look what else we got in this package. We got my receipt. And we got two more packs of hooks. Two more packs of four aughts, actually. I have some packs of three aughts coming in the mail, but they were out of stock in the store, so they couldn't ship them out the same, oops. They couldn't ship them out the same day that they shipped these out. So those will be here in a few days. I have a ton of packages coming all this week. So guys, get pumped for some awesome new videos. I just wanted to hop on real quick to show you guys this, but now I'm just going to show you guys the result of my terminal tackle box from last time. I'll put these hooks inside and I'm going to show you what's up with that. Yeah, you want to say hi to YouTube? Sure. Hi YouTube. What's up y'all? Got the hooks all put in here, got a little food in me. Now um, I'm going to take you guys inside this tackle box and show you what's going on, show you what's up. This is the Plano 3600 size waterproof tackle box. And let's just open this baby up. Bam, unclip all those. And there we go. So, if we take a look here, 
I hope you guys could see all this. But over here we have our drop shot weights. We have our Ned Ned uh we have our Ned heads here. We have some bullet weights. Quarter ounce and one half ounce in there because I only had one. I have more weights coming this week in the mail, so stay tuned for that. Over here we have some of our offset worm hooks. And continuing across the top, we have some swim bait jigs. These are some really big swim bait jigs. We use these for striper and musky and stuff of that nature. Now over here we have our straight shank hooks. And guys, by the way, if you didn't see if you didn't see the last video, make sure you check it out. I'll leave it linked up here at the top of the screen. Make sure you guys check it out. Right here we have our VMC wacky hooks. Over here we have the wacky rigging hooks that we got out of the 40 hook kit. And over here we have some 3 aught extra wide gap hooks that we also got out of the out of the kit. Now over here we have our 4 aught Berkley Fusion EWG worm hooks. Down here we just have a line cutter. And up here we have the hook for the scale. And bang guys, that's this entire tackle box. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry this was a little bit of a shorter video, but obviously there wasn't too much to it. I'm glad I got to show you guys inside of my terminal tackle box. And there'll be a, whoa, there'll be an update coming soon after I totally fill it up with all the stuff that I'm gonna get. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are new or if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Tell me what kind of hooks you guys like to use. Guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya! My camera's on red.